lesson the vocabulary is not the most vital uh, element to speak well, and we should uh, learn to uh, use words flexibly. Um, also, uh, I learned from you that uh, uh, I should uh, uh, speak and uh, uh, think uh, directly in English instead of translating information from Chinese to English. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Um, um, it's not Chinese. You always emphasize the uh, culture shock. Uh, I know um, it's very important to improve our English, um, but on the Chinese uh, study system, we really need uh, time and courage to follow your step and uh, accept the shock completely. Um, um, there are many differences between Chinese culture and uh, American culture. So, uh, therefore, uh, there's no time. No, like what? What's the difference? <laughs> Uh, there are many differences in our thoughts. Um, uh, you may sometimes you may uh, want to express your ideas more vividly, um, uh, but uh, we may easily think that uh, you are not patient. Uh, we want to communicate with you freely, uh, but uh, our words or thoughts uh, would be stopped by your suddenly uh, upward voice uh, and. Uh, on um, uh, an impatient attitude. However, after these classes, I realized that uh, your haste and uh, time limitation uh, aren't equal to impatience, but uh, want to improve our English ear and uh, ability. So, thank you very much. I learned something from you. How to send language and culture have a, uh, have a tight relationship with each other. Uh, I think uh, culture is a background and uh, language is something like an uh, expression and the culture. Uh, also, it is quite true that the more we practice, uh, the more we can speak, uh, the more fluently we can speak English. Uh, so it's about to, uh, I mean, perception and the practice could be combined together uh, would be a great help of improving our oral English. Uh, what else I learned from Royal uh, is that uh, uh, culture. Uh, it is quite true that language and culture have a, uh, have a tight relationship with each other. Uh, I think uh, culture is a background and uh, language is something like an expression and the culture. Uh, also, it is quite true that the more we practice, uh, the more we can speak, uh, the more fluently we can speak English. Uh, so it's about to, uh, I mean, perception and the practice could be combined together uh, would be a great help of improving our oral English. Uh, what else I learned from Royal uh, is that uh, uh, the theory of no face, I consider it as an efficient and first way of learning oral English. Um, uh, we should not uh, afraid of making mistakes and we should have confidence to speak English louder and speak it out. And the most important point I want to say is uh, when we speak English with foreigners, I think it is important to, to uh, dip ourself, uh, ourselves in the speaking circumstance. Uh, maybe uh, you may not know some words exact meaning, but uh, you can according to the speaking circumstance and guess what the speaker want to express. Uh, I think uh, it's very important uh, for understanding and communicating. Okay, that's my experience. So the world is developing very quickly. If uh, if we if we if we didn't learn from the from the other, we uh, we think we will uh, we will we will lost we will lost in the world. And uh, and just now, the uh, Mary said that. Uh, uh, people won't won't come come back won't come back if they go uh, go study abroad. Uh, I I want to say that uh, there are many famous people in history that uh, they go abroad, but they uh, come back in China and uh, and uh, helped a lot in the development development of China, uh, such as Qian Xuanzang and Qin Sanqiang. And uh, I and another I want to say that. Mm, if if we want, if we don't go abroad, we, if we don't study, uh, uh, learn from uh, the foreign country, uh, we will uh, uh, just as the Qing Dynasty. As we know, Qing Dynasty, Qing Dynasty, they, uh, uh, Chinese don't learn from them, uh, the Western country. 
and and they and at last they uh, they are beat uh, by the uh, enemy. So I want to so I want to say that um, 